Sí. The film is set in Texas in 1980 and follows three interweaving storylines regarding hitman Anton Chigurh, Sheriff Ed Tom Bell, and Hunter Lolan Moss. It opens with a soliloquy by Bell bemoaning the changing times and how things have become more violent than in his father's day. The scene transitions to Chigurh, who has been recently arrested in a small town. While in custody, he strangles a deputy sheriff and uses a penetrating, air-powered captive bolt pistol to kill a stranger on the highway and escape in his car. He spares the life of a gas station owner who correctly guesses the result of Shigur's coin toss. Hunting pronghorns in the desert, Lulin Moss comes across the aftermath of a drug deal gone bad. He takes the money and returns home. Feeling guilty, Moss returns with water but finds the man dead. Two men in a truck pursue him, but he escapes into a river. Back at home, he sends his wife, Carla Jean, to stay with her mother, then takes a taxi to a motel in Del Rio, where he hides the briefcase in his room's air duct. Meanwhile, Bell and his deputy Wendell are investigating the death of the deputy that Shigur strangled and the motorist that he killed. Bell and Wendell arrive at the site of the drug deal from which Moss took the money. Howdy. As you can see I'm working on leaving my Ava ways as a murdering bandit and certified horse thief behind. This is some real honest work right here. You have been pretty quiet for a while. What's are you worrying about? Don't tell me it is that film you got to watch lately. I won't sit through another one of those shitty monologues. Finding the burned out car of the motorist that Shigur had killed and Moss's truck. Shigur, hired to recover the money, arrives to search Moss' home, where he uses his bolt pistol to blow the lock out of the door. Bell and Wendell arrive at Moss's home shortly after Shigur has left, noticing the blown out lock. Following a tracking device in the money, Shigur goes to Moss' motel room and kills a group of Mexicans waiting to ambush Moss. Moss has rented a second room adjacent to the Mexican's room with access to the duck where the money is hidden. Yeah, alright. He retrieves the briefcase before Shigur opens the duck. Moving to a hotel in the border town of Eagle Pass, Moss discovers the tracking device, but Shigur has already found him. Their firefight spills onto the streets, killing a bystander and wounding both. Moss flees across to Mexico, stashing the case of money along the Rio Grande. Finding Moss severely injured, a passing Norteño band takes him to a hospital. Carson Wells, another hired operative, fails to persuade Moss to accept protection in return for the money. Shigur cleans and stitches his own wounds with stolen supplies and sneaks up on Wells at his hotel. Unsuccessfully bartering for his life, Wells is murdered by Shigur. Moss telephones the room, intending to bargain with Wells, but Shigur answers the call instead and vows to kill Carla Jean unless Moss gives up the money. Moss retrieves the case from the Rio Grande and arranges to meet Carla Jean at a motel in El Paso, where he plans to give her the money and hide her from danger. Carla Jean is approached by Sheriff Bell, who promises to protect Moss.
Carla Jean's mother unknowingly reveals Moss' location to a group of Mexicans tailing them. Bell reaches the motel rendezvous at El Paso, only to hear gunshots and spot a pickup truck speeding from the motel. Bell finds Moss dead in his motel room and shares the news with the devastated Carla Jean. I found the Wikipedia article myself and will continue reading from here, because this ride takes forever.